What is up, people? My name is Shockwafina, and we are finally back with more of this Detroit Red Wings Fantasy Franchise mode. Sorry for the little hiatus there. Uh, my work schedule got switched up on me, and I had a little adjustment period. Uh, so I just got really busy with a lot of different things, trying to figure out how I'm going to work my new schedule. But I should be back semi-regularly with uploads, and I have a few other ideas I might be bringing to the table fairly shortly. Uh, just some other things to kind of help keep my interest in this whole making videos and playing video game thing so uh yeah it's been a while so i'm gonna go over the team before we jump into anything else here but as you can see we are in the playoffs we will be going up against the toronto maple leafs here in the first round um and so let's just go edit our lines just go check this out before we go and see them or get into any simulating as you can see here our first line consists of tomas natar matt duchene and tj oshi here very solid first line our second line is max domi casey Zizikas, and uh, vladimir tarasenko now vladimir tarasenko is on the second line because he has a high uh like his morale is better with or his locker room chemistry and morale are better with uh people on the second line so i dropped him down there uh I did that uh, earlier in the season, and uh, seems to be working so far. Didn't really seem to hinder him. I still think he was like a point per game player or something. So he doesn't mind being on the second line as long as he's getting that first time uh, power play, or first line power play. Uh, and our second or third line here, excuse me, we have uh, Sean Prince or Shane Prince. I swear to God, I called him Sean Prince. That was a whole thing the last episode, like a month ago, and I still did it. So Shane Prince, Charlie Coyle, and Jonathan Morchesu, the newest member of the Vegas Golden Knights. If you guys missed that uh, expansion draft, that whole thing. Well, I actually have been gone for a while, haven't I? Uh, fourth line here with Patrick Maroon, Luke Glendening at center, and Kyle Brodziak player on the right wing. So this is a very good team. Um, the one thing I think we could upgrade on is our second line a little bit. Um, Max Domi's not too bad. I mean, if he was a couple overall points be uh, better, that'd be great. Uh, I really don't see him grow very much in this game, however, so, eh, I'm not really expecting him to get much better. Um, maybe if we had, like, a, uh, like a 90 overall left winger, we could drop Tatar down to the second line, and that would dramatically improve our team. Another thing is, we don't really have, like, a clear-cut second line center, because Charlie Coyle and Casey Zekas are kind of, like, you know, they're the same overall, kind of doing the same thing. I like Zekas on the second line better, just because I feel like he's a better player than Charlie Coyle for us, but... Uh, this is how it is right now. If I need to change it later on, I will. I'm not opposed to that. Uh, let's go to the defense here. You can see Morgan Riley, Carl Osner on our, is our top pair. That's a great top pairing for us. Our second line defense is Mateus Ekholm with Cody Ceci. And our third line is Brooks Orpik with Troy Stetcher. So not a bad uh, defensive core at all. Uh, the reason why I have Stetcher on the third line is because I want Ceci to grow. Also because... Um, I just feel like that'll work out better for us. He has the high potential. I know he's... I know cases... I almost said Casey Zizekas. Oh, my goodness. Cody CC. It's both... You know, their initials are both C and C. So, it's the same thing. Uh, Cody CC here has a low elite, but that low red potential kind of scares me a little bit. I know he can get pretty good, like up to an 89 sometimes. But I, I need him to grow for me. I want him to be our top pairing defenseman with Morgan Riley of the future. And Troy Stetcher can still grow on that third pairing. We've been seeing that... It's that high potential, man. It's great. Absolutely phenomenal. Uh, I think he's listed as... He's actually listed as a top four. We might switch these guys. Uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, so we're having a race to see who's going to be our top guy after Carl Osner leaves. It might be Troy Stetcher for us. It very well could be. So that's what we're looking at here. And of course, we have our goaltender. Our goaltenders, I suppose. Uh, John Gibson here, 88 overall. Uh, still should be growing. He's going to be phenomenal for us. And then Carrie Ramo there in the back up position. Now, that's the team we're rocking with. I just wanted to remind everybody before we jump too far ahead. Let's go ahead and check out who the Maple Leafs are going to be bringing to the table as well. Because remember, this is a fantasy draft uh, mode. Yeah, let's go ahead and sim our AFL affiliate game. So we don't exactly know who they're going to be bringing. All right, so... I don't exactly remember how to do this. Okay, so I just do this, right? Right? Yes, let me go to edit lines. Okay, I don't want to like jump ahead and jump into the game and have to sim it. Okay, so let's go to edit lines here. Let's go ahead and check out the opposing team. Uh, how do we switch? Oh my goodness, it's been way too long. A few opponents, there we go. All right, so Philip Forsberg. That's actually a guy I wanted to pick up. 
Uh, wow, look at this first line. Forsberg, Stamkos, and Skinner. That is a phenomenal first line. Three snipers, though. I don't know how I feel about that. They got Mitch Marner back. That's pretty funny. Uh, Matthew Perot, Mitch Marner, and Nick Batan there for the second line. Not a, It's not horrible for the second line, but uh, it could definitely be better. Third line, Vinny Henestrosa there. Travis Konechny as well. He could grow to be something I know he usually does, so that's going to be good for them in the future. And Devontae smith Pelly, who is a 83 overall, really. Okay, good for them. Uh, Daniel Sprong, uh, Colton Sissons, and David Jones there on the fourth line. So a couple of good Nashville Predators on this team here with uh, Forsberg and Sissons. Let's check out their defense. Uh, okay, yeah, good defensive core as well. Uh, I think we might edge them out, though. I, I'm pretty sure we edge them out. They have Brent Seabrook as their number one defenseman, uh, pairing with Derek Pouliot there. Uh, so that should be... They're going to have a really, really good power play. So we're going to have to watch out for that. We don't want to take any penalties. Uh, second line here, Andre Markov with Jake McCabe. And then third line defensively is Thomas Hickey with Anthony D'Angelo. So they have kind of an old... They have an aging defensive core with Brent Seabrook and Andre Markov. Andre Markov is probably going to retire after this year. Brent Seabrook could go within the next couple of years. Uh, of course, they have McCabe and D'Angelo and uh, Pouliot, who are all in their mid-20s. But, uh, yeah, even Hickey, yeah, in the late 20s, not too bad. But, yeah, Brent Seabrook, the number one defenseman, is not going to be with them for very long. So they are definitely in win-now mode. Let's go ahead and check out their goaltending, see who they have. They have Calvin Pickard and Peter Morazic. Okay, so they have a tandem here, a, a decent tandem, 86 and an 85. Um, uh, Calvin Pickard, obviously, you know, uh, from Colorado. Actually, now Vegas, right? They picked him up. Yeah, Vegas. Vegas picked up Calvin Pickard. Uh, and the Red Wings actually had Peter Mrazek unprotected because we protected Jimmy Howard for some ungodly reason. So uh, I was pretty infuriated by that. So they have a really good tandem here. But they don't... I guess they do have a number one goaltender. Like, an 86 is not a bad number one goaltender by any stretch of the imagination. So you see ours at 88. So we have them edged out in goaltending. Uh, I think we have them edged out in defense. And I believe... Their first line is puts ours to shame, but I think our depth on the forward, uh, on forward is much much better. So let's go ahead and get into the sim here. As soon as I back out of all this, uh, so yeah, I think we are the better team. Uh, their first line and power play are better than ours, but we uh, edge them out in everything else, including uh, forward depth. So. This should be for an interesting series. You can see here the last game of the season, we actually beat them 6-3. to three. So let's go ahead and we're going to slow sim this entire series. This is going to be the entire video, is just simming this round of the playoffs, see how far we can get. So let's go ahead and just go to goals here. And let's see if we can get anything in the first period. And wow, okay, so it's looking like it's going to be uh, one of those kind of games. 3-1 Toronto. Skinner gets two, Devontae smith Pelly gets one, and then Max Domi picks up his first goal of the playoffs for us on Calvin Pickard. Uh, John Gibson, what are you doing, bud? Letting in three goals on ten shots. That's not very good. You need to be better than that. You absolutely need to be better than that. Uh, we, we need a big bounce back period here. At least two goals. We need to shut the door on the Toronto Maple Leafs here from uh, here on out. Second period. Nice. Exactly what I asked for. Two goals. We shut the door. Casey Zizekas and Vladimir Tarasenko. Both there on the second line. Actually, Max Domi's on the second line too. So that second line has been absolutely killing it for us. Uh, get, uh, getting all three goals in this game. 22 shots in two periods is not too shabby. Toronto's there with 17. Gibson, you need to keep the door shut, buddy. We just need to shut these guys down from here on out. We need a big goal. Let's get a couple more goals just to make sure we can get the win here. Uh, but yeah, times eight simulation. Let's go ahead and get into this. I need a oh, power play. We need a big goal. Five on three, nothing. Matt Duchesne on the power play against Calvin Pickard. And we're, we killed that off penalty. Wow, I'm not even speaking English anymore. I'm just so excited. Can we take game one? Are we at home? I didn't bother to check. I think we're at home, right? We have to be at home. Do we? Yeah, we are. So we have home ice advantage against the Toronto Maple Leafs here. Uh, another power play, and we kill it off. Beautiful. Matt Duchesne with the game-winning goal for Detroit. 4-3 to three is your final. Every player on the third or the second line got a goal. Matt Duchesne, first line center, picking up the game-winning goal. Gibson kind of shit the bed there in the first period, but he definitely shut the door after that, and that's exactly what we needed him to do. Uh, as you can see here, uh, Matt Duchesne there with the, third, with the first star, game-winning goal plus an assist. Jeff Skinner, two goals in that game. Vladimir Tarasenko with a goal and assist as well, picking up the third star of the game. That's what I like to see. 
Uh, I don't think we need to change up any lines, obviously, after a big win like that. Uh, that was kind of on Gibson, those three goals early. So uh, I think we can go ahead and just get right back into this game here. Go ahead and sim. Let's get ahead by two. Uh, continue. Yeah. I don't understand why I was saying NHL game would be sim. That kind of freaked me out for a second. Whoa! Okay, Gibson. Let's not do that. First shot of the game. I didn't even I didn't even change it to goals yet. First shot of the game. What was that? Like 15, 16 seconds in. Gibson, you gotta have that, buddy. You gotta have that. Alright, well, we're just gonna go ahead and sim the rest of this period. Beautiful. Hey, bud. Gibson, seriously. Stop letting in the early first period goals. You need to shut the door from here on out. And we need to get some offense here. Second line... Just do what you did in the first game. I'm waiting for it. Second period is not what I wanted. Shots are 22 to 20. We're peppering that goaltender, though. He's just not budging for us. Uh, Devante smith Pelly, what looks to be a wraparound, I guess. Uh, putting one in on Gibson again. That's his second goal in two games. Um, this is not looking very good. We want this 2-0 victory going back. Or we want this 2-0 series lead, I should say, going back to Toronto. That's going to help us out tremendously. So... Let's see if we can do something here. Times 8 simulation here in the third period. Can we please get something? We need an early goal. Early goal. I'm talking within the first 10 minutes here. Nothing. Not going to happen. 27 shots. 28 shots. Nothing. Let, we need to put one in now. Now is the time to score. Thank you, Patrick Maroon on the fourth line. All right. Now we need to get another one. Very quickly here, boys. Really quick. Really quick. Come on. Come on. There it is. Max Domi again. Mr. Clutch. And we're going to overtime. Captain, I don't want to say captain. I was going to say Captain Domi, but he's not. Oh, I was going to say Captain Clutch, but he's not our captain. Who's our captain? I don't know who our captain is. Uh, Max Domi here and Patrick Maroon both score on Calvin Pickard in the third period there. Uh, so he kind of just let us storm back in this game. We put up a ton of shots in that period. I think we got 15 shots in the third period. We needed to do that, though. We really needed to do that because he was just shutting the door on us, and we had to respond. So we're in overtime. We made it. Let's see if we have a hero. Max Domi, can you do it again? Can you score again for us, bud? They have the power play in overtime. Who did this? Who did this? Who allowed this to happen? Okay, good thing we have a good penalty kill. We have a very good penalty kill. <gasps> Kyle Brodziak on the fourth line, getting those overtime minute scores from the hash marks. Beautiful. And we take a 2-0 series lead over Toronto, going back to Toronto. Let's check out the three stars. First star is John Gibson. I let in those two early goals. Didn't really matter. Or the first, that one really, really early goal. The second one was in the second. Uh, a 1.73 goals against average. 31 saves. Okay, he had a good game. He had a good game. Barring that first goal. There's no reason the first shot of the game goes in. Uh, Brodziak there at the game-winning goal gets a second star. And Patrick Maroon getting us on the board there in the third period gets the third star. So beautiful game, boys. Now here's the thing. We need to start scoring earlier. And we need to stop letting in those first period goals. If we do that, then we are definitely going all the way this year. Uh, I have no question about it. But that throughout these two games here, that seems to be the problem. I mean, we, we obviously storm back and and take the victory, but uh, just to give us a little less pressure, you know, I feel like we should probably start scoring a bit earlier. And Gibson needs to stop, like, just laying down in the first period. That'd be fantastic. So let's go ahead into this game three here. Let's see if we can take a commanding 3 nothing victory. Uh, or 3 nothing series lead over the Toronto Maple Leafs and force a sweep, a potential sweep. Uh, let's just go ahead and see what we can do here. Can we reverse what has been happening to us this entire series so far? First period, nothing. I'll take it. We didn't allow a first period goal. Shots are pretty even, 9-11 to in favor of Toronto. But we didn't let in a first period goal. So that's, that's good. That's a good start. Now let's see if we can put the puck in the net, okay? Gibson, I like it. Keep it coming. Don't let anything pass just. Second period, he didn't listen to me. Jeff Skidder gets another goal. Again, no goals in the first two periods. It's fine. We're only down by one. But we need to score early. We, we need to stop waiting till like the last seven minutes to score all of our goals, okay? Let's just knock that off. Come on. Let's go do something. I accidentally skipped it instead of simming it. Might have been a mistake because we ended up losing. 
Two to one. Luke Glendening scored with three minutes and 26 seconds left in the third. And then Colton Sissons put the cherry on top for the Toronto Maple Leafs from the boards with two minutes and 51 seconds left in the game. So, um, yeah. I mean, look, 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 where Glenn, look where Glenn Denning scored. It's like he was standing on top of Calvin Pickard, and he just, like, smacked it in. I like it. All right, so we're not going to check the three stars of that game, because we lost. I don't care. So uh, we got morale changes for ice time, and then we lost morale for recent individual performance. So, you know, might as well have just not said we had any morale changes at all, because apparently we didn't. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and sim to the fourth game of the series here. Uh, AHL regular season has ended. So we are in the playoffs with our AHL affiliate. Uh, and we do win game one with the Grand Rapids Griffins. That's awesome. We need to win this game. We don't want them coming back into it. We can win this game, go up 3-1 in the series, and get a potential uh, knockout game here in game five in Detroit. So that's best case scenario for us right now. We need to win these next two games. I don't want to go to six. I don't want to go to seven. Toronto's one of those teams. With that first line and that power play, man, they can punish you if you let them. So let's go, boys. Let's get this victory here in game four. Let's go ahead and do this. No first shot, first goal, Gibson. Come on now. Uh, okay, it wasn't the first shot. I think it should have been more, uh, you know, more specific. But uh, D Derek Pooley out there on the point. Maybe it was on the power play. I don't know, probably. 12-9 uh, shots in favor of the Toronto Maple Leafs. Again, a goal in the first period for Toronto. No goals for us. Come on, guys. I know you're better than this. I have a ton of goal scorers on this team. I got the cover boy. I have Tarasenko. I have a filthy first line that should be able to put the puck in the net, who I haven't really score, seen score like at all other than Duchesne. So second period, we need to get some goals here, guys. And we do. Okay, so, so we're going to the third all tied up. Better than what could have been. I call out the first line, and TJ Yoshi there buries it for us, so that's really good. Um... Right there from the circle. And then Charlie Coyle, just right next to where uh, TJ Yoshi was, puts us ahead. But then Matthew Perot there from the top of the circle buries it on John Gibson. So we are going into the third period. I'm going to remember to slow sim this instead of skip. All right, guys, let's do this. Come on, we need one early. Let's start putting the pressure on him. I... All right, look at the shot totals, 29 to 19. Like, we need to catch up here. We need to get a goal. Don't let him go on the power play. What are you guys doing? There we go. Come on. All right, well, or not. We're just going to get shut the door. Cal Calvin Pickard's just going to shut the door on us. We can't get anything on it, and there's Markov. So that's going to seal it. Uh, we're not coming back. Yeah, nothing. Okay, so we're having trouble scoring goals. Um, but we did fairly okay the first two games. We might need to shake something up, but I'm not sure what. Uh, that prob that, the problem with this game is we didn't put enough shots on the net. You're not going to win with 24 shots when the other team's scoring 33, you know. Unless you're the Penguins in, what was it, Game 2, where they just didn't do anything and still won. Or, yeah, was it Game 2? It must have been Game 2. They just didn't do anything, but they won anyway because Pecorine decided to prolapse all over the ice. All right, so we lose that game 4-2. to two. Uh, Series is tied back up at 2. I don't want to deal with that. We are coming back to Detroit, so that should be good for us. We have home ice advantage, so if we win every game at home, we should be okay. If we win every game at home, we will be okay. Grand Rapids takes a 2-0 lead in their series. That's beautiful. I like to see that. Uh, is there anything we can do to kind of help out? Because I don't want to go down 3-2 to two after being up 2-0. That just seems like a very poor decision on my part. So is there anything I can do to kind of prevent that let's check out our lines here do I throw Tarasenko to the first line is that is that something I do I'm not sure it is uh, let's do this let's do this let's try this let's try let's try this Tarasenko Oshi and Duchesne here. Let's try this. I'll throw Tatar on the right wing. I know it's his off wing, but it should be fine. Um, let's try this. Why not? Let's try for a game. See if it helps. Uh, our locker room chemistry took a little bit of a dive there from losing. So let's go ahead and hit, get right back into the calendar here. Game 5 coming up. We are tied 2-2. Two two. We need to win this game. We need... To win this game, we cannot afford to go down 3-2 to two to the Toronto Maple Leafs. Okay, so let's go to goals. 
Let's see if that line change helps us out. First period, and it does. Tarasenko is actually the one that scores, too. Uh, so Anthony D'Angelo there. Anthony? It's Anthony D'Angelo, right? I don't know. Who cares? Uh, he gets one in there on Gibson there. Uh, but Tarasenko gets one and ties us up at one. Less than two minutes left in the first. That can be kind of a ball buster there. Shots are dead even at 10 to 10. So this is a very, very even game. Let's see if we can actually step up and do something here at home in game five. Second period. Thomas Tatar. Look at that. The play two players that I moved. The two players that moved are the ones that get the goals. Thomas Tatar there playing defense. Shooting from the point. Sure. Why not? Gets the goal. Again, less than two minutes left in the period. Hopefully that's another ball breaker. Let's go into the third period. I want another goal here, guys. Let's just put the cherry on top. Put this game out of reach for the Toronto Maple Leafs. They're out shooting us again, and there it is. Derek Pouliot. Another power play. What are you guys doing? That's two power plays practically in a row for Toronto, and they bury both they bury goals on both of the power plays. Now they're gonna win. Oh my goodness. That was just a poor display of discipline is really what that was so we're now we're down three to two in the series because we couldn't stay out of the penalty box that is kind of ridiculous i am leaving the lines the way they are though because the two players that i switched were the ones that scored i i don't know what i can do we might be pseudo reverse swept here in the first round and i'm not a fan of that we we there's no way about it. I know I keep saying we need to win these next two games or whatever, but like if we don't win the next two games, then we're out. So that's just kind of how it is. We need an early goal. Stop dicking around, boys. Gibson, shut the door. First period. That's the exact opposite of what I wanted. Patan gets two. Marner gets one. Coyle gets one. Oh, my goodness. What is going on? 14 shots, three goals. I don't like that. Second. Okay, it's over. It's over. It's over. Wow. Wow. That was horrendous. Yeah, you should be pissed, Patrick Maroon. Sean Mathias is pissed off. Burroughs is like, hey, I'm not even playing, but I'm upset. And everyone's mad for being eliminated. We should have played better. Fuck you. All right, well. Our offense took a huge hit because everyone's mad. Maroon... Excuse me? Yeah, you're gone. You're gone. You're gone. You're so gone. I he's he's been having morale problems this entire time. It doesn't matter where I play him. It does not matter where I play him. He's always upset. Always upset. Or picks regressing. We need to get rid of him probably. If he retires, whatever, man. Uh let's go to scratched. These guys are both angry. You're probably both going to be traded as well. So uh, at least we know something we're doing in the offseason. So, uh, yeah, that kind of sucks. We're just going to go ahead and sim to the draft here, I guess, uh, and see who ended up winning. Bef uh, yeah, let's just do that. So we can see Winnipeg won their series. LA's on the brink of winning theirs. The Avalanche actually won theirs. Um, current round of the playoffs is over. Yeah, so let's just check out... Um, what's going on here yeah let's just edit the scouting assignment might as well I mean I thought we were doing better than what we did or I thought we were going to be doing better than what we did it's kind of upsetting so uh, I'm gonna stop the sim right here just so we can see how far along we are we are actually in the conference finals the Capitals do you believe in miracles they made it past the second round uh, not in the conference finals excuse me uh, this this would be the second round yeah this is the the second round here. They're going to the third round. Capitals making it past the second round with a big sweep. Not bad, boys. Not bad. Too bad Ovi's not with that team, right? <laughs> I, I swear. They don't make it because Ovi. He's a terrible captain. Absolutely awful. And if you think he is a good captain, fight me on that. But you can see the Maple Leafs here. 3-2 over the Ottawa Senators. Uh, LA 3-2 over the Jets. And then uh, Dallas 3-2 over the Avs. So let's go ahead and keep going here. Just kind of keep an eye on everything. Uh, wait till the current round of the playoffs is over. Then I'll stop the sim. Check out everything. Yeah, stop the simulation. The Avs came back and actually won. Uh, LA held on to win and so did Toronto. Game of peace across the board. Uh, Toronto versus the Caps. That's pretty interesting considering that was the first round of the playoffs this year. 
and the Caps beat them in what was it six? Yeah, Toronto put up a, they put up a fight though, man. They put up a much bigger fight than I was anticipating them to. So good for them. Look at our locker room chemistry, man. Maroon is just cancer in the locker room, dude. He's just cancer in the locker room, man. I'm getting rid of him. He's gone. He's as good as gone. Um, I don't know if I can bundle him with some picks to try and get like a a better forward. Like a if I can bundle him and like Max Domi plus a couple of picks to get like a good solid first line left winger, you know, that would be ideal. But uh, yeah, so that's what we're looking at right now. Let's go ahead and sim the rest away. Uh, we're just gonna sim that to the end of the playoffs, sim to the draft, and that's where we're gonna end the video. We'll pick up where we left off next time. I uh, just am curious to see who's going to win the cup here. I kind of want it to be Toronto because, you know, the whole 50 years since it's happened thing. And uh, also, I just think it'd be funny if the Caps finally make it past the second round and lose to friggin' Toronto. Uh, the Capitals won the Stanley Cup. All right. Uh, at least it wasn't Colorado, I guess. So that's cool. <laughs> Are we allowed to see who the Capitals had on their team? Like, did they get Ovi? If they got Ovi, I'm going to be kind of mad. Uh, Minnesota won the draft lottery. Arizona still in the bottom three because, you know, they can't even draft a good team. Uh, Pittsburgh at number four. That's always fun to see. I don't like Pittsburgh. Crosby can go somewhere. But yeah, let's few retired players. I have to have at least one. Uh, Burroughs is gone. That's probably a good thing, to be honest with you, because he was kind of getting mad in the locker room. Uh, it's all skaters. Hey, goalies, anybody? No, so just Alexander Burroughs. Everyone else is fine. What's the avalanche? Ooh. Wait, no. I thought it was the avalanche versus, uh... I don't know. <laughs> I thought it was the avalanche versus the uh, Capitals. It might have been. But yeah, the Caps win year number two. Uh, you can see our offense is at a 92 just because we got... It was at 91, but we got rid of someone who uh, was kind of angry in the locker room there with Burroughs retiring. Uh, so yeah, I think that's where we're gonna end this video. Very disappointing being knocked out in the first round, but what are you gonna do? Uh, we'll pick up next time with the draft and the beginning of next season. Well, I guess not the beginning of next season, probably just the entire off season, I would imagine. Yeah, so the next video is gonna be the entire year two off season. We'll get into year three in the video following that. So thank you guys for watching. I'll, again, try to upload more frequently. I apologize. But, uh, yeah, until next time, guys, my name's Shaquafina, and I'm out.